Welcome to our fourth video in our Tech Tree series for the technical stress test of Age of Empires 4. In this video, we're gonna go in depth through the Tech Tree for the Abbasid Dynasty. Now we're gonna be going through everything that is unique to the Abbasid Dynasty because I already made a series for the English. Go back and check that video out. If you did not see it, find it on my YouTube channel where I go through every single unit, every building. A lot of these are universal for all the civilizations, so I'm not gonna go into depth to every single one here. If there's something that uh, you wanted to learn more about, make sure you check out that English Tech Tree video that will be linked uh, somewhere around here. But anyways, let's get into the Abbasid Dynasty and what makes them unique. So Abbasid Dynasty is uh, rated a two-star civilization. I would actually maybe even argue they could be a three-star. There is uh, certain intricacies to Civ uh, that I think make them a little bit more challenging um, compared to we have the Home of Roman Empire. I know they rated a two-star. Abbasid Dynasty, you've got to have... Uh, a lot of purpose with your age up options at your house of wonder. You also got to build that house of wonder. Um, and it's also, if you forget to age up, there's no throwing extra villagers on it to increase your age up. You've got to set time from the house of wonder and you only have two landmarks to defend. Once those go down, you lose the game. So for some of those reasons, I would almost consider it to be a, a three star. Okay. So the Bastion dynasty research, research anti-cav and golden age are the uniqueness I'll go through what that means. The Abbasid Dynasty pursues a flourishing golden age by concentrating structures around the House of Wisdom, allowing them to unlock significant economic advantages. The House of Wisdom also drives progress through the ages and grants access to advanced techs. Abbasid camel units are ex expert at countering enemy cavalry. Okay, uh, let's get into what some of that means. The cavalry fighter is particularly good at countering cavalry-based armies. So your 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 camel are going to be good against enemy cavalry. I also like to use their spears, quite frankly. Uh, they have some nice uh, upgrades for their spears. Sometimes I like to use those more for countering the cav than the, the actual camels, um, but we'll get more into that. The golden age. Okay, so this is a unique thing about the Abbasids. Uh, build towards your civilization's golden age, improving research, production, and gathering speeds. So basically, different gold, you have multiple tiers of golden age. You can get three different golden ages. As you build your 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 empire, you want to connect these. You'll see a little radius, and you want to make sure your buildings are all connected or to kind of weave them together so they are connected, and it adds up. So the first golden age is reached when you have 10 buildings, um, and that includes your houses, lumber mill, barracks, etc. You hit those 10, and you unlock that first golden age. Um, and then you get the next one at, I believe it's 30 buildings, and I think the next one, it's, I think it's 60 buildings. Let's see if it, it mentions it here. Um, the pursuit of knowledge. Embrace the Abbasid's pursuit of knowledge through unique technologies located in their House of Wisdom. The House of Wisdom, you want to be checking in on that. Every time you age up, it's got some unique things um, you're going to research. Also, something to think about as you advance through the age. I actually go through the House of Wisdom in detail in my Abbasid Civilization uh, Guide, which is on my YouTube channel. So go ahead and check that guide out if you're interested in this civilization. It's gonna be really helpful for getting started with the Abbasid Dynasty. Um, civilization bonuses, gather from berry bushes 25% faster, but cannot gather from the boar, okay? So you can get more food from berries, boars, not gonna be eating those. Infantry units are able to construct ramps and siege towers without researching the siege engineering, okay? So that's a unique thing. It can help you make an early rush if you want. You don't have to get this tech at the armory. Infantry can just you can construct rams right out of the gate. Advanced ages by building wings from the House of Wisdom. Um, so this have actually kind of ages up more traditionally, like we know from other Age of Empires games, where you click the town center, you age up. So you click the House of Wisdom, you, you select your age up option, it builds a wing, and then you check back in there and you get those different techs that are unlocked. Okay, so this is one of the few civilizations that does not build a separate landmark. Um, advanced ages by doing that. Da, 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 da. Nearby buildings gain plus 5% fire armor. Enter a golden ages to speed up resource gather rate, research times, and production speed. Docks are 50% cheaper. So a lot of civ bonuses, a lot of very interesting civ bonuses. I just think what makes this civ a, a little bit more complex. Uh, siege experts. Infantry do not require the siege engineering upgrade to construct towers. Yep, we already said this. Unique unit produces the camel archer and the camel rider. Camel Archer, great unit for, for raiding enemy villagers, trade lines, 
etc. You also see some people massing these camel archer armies and running around the map, uh, causing havoc with them. Uh, we'll get to that unit here in a bit. Okay, let's go through the unique technologies for the Holy Roman Empire. Once again, I'm going to skip around over the ones that are universal for all the civilizations. So if there's something you want to see, go check out that English video where I go through the tech tree. And if there's something I hover over here, feel free to pause, back it up. I will hover over all the icons so you can see what they cost. Okay, uh, so this is all universal at the town center, villagers, scout, textiles, at your house, mill. It's got all of the typical upgrades for the mill. Your lumber camp has all the same technologies. So same with the mining camp, your farm, your barracks. You see in the second age, you have the spearmen. In the first age of spearmen, you don't get your man in arms until the third age. Um, important thing to realize because if the enemy like Holy Roman Empire is hitting you with man arms early. You need to have a solution for that because your spearmen are not going to do it if you open with the barracks. Okay, your dock, which is going to be 50% cheaper, costs 75 wood. Uh, the ships you're going to have, transport ship, and then you have the trade ship, Dow, explosive Dow, and then the Zebek. Uh, so this is going to be your archer ship and then your ex your explosive incendiary ship. Oh, I also missed the Bagla, which is your attack ship. That's got the ballista uh, and then your Zebek. Either extended line, this will be for fishing. Here's a unique one, Teak Mast. Uh, increases the health of Dallas by plus 100. So a nice way to upgrade your Dallas uh, with plus 100. Uh, these are the same for all the other civilizations for upgrading your boats. And then you have your, your walls, your outposts. Nothing fancy here. This is the same thing for all of the other civilizations for upgrading your outposts. The House of Wisdom you so this is the unique building it costs 50 wood you have to budget this in early on now you get a little bit of extra starting wood and i often, often use it to build your mill your lumber mill your 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 uh your uh mining camp um but you've got to build this 50 wood get your villagers on there don't be caught with all the res to age up and not have your house of wisdom built because you forgot to do it so 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 important so important i have my twitch chat have a command to remind me to build the house of wisdom um this also is your only landmark in addition to your town center so you got to keep it alive um and one thing i like to do with the house of wisdom is build it somewhere where it's going to connect that that maybe that first gold mine that's not going to be connected to your network of buildings just so you can get towards that golden age faster. And I like to build it behind my town center if at all possible. Um, these technologies I'll go through quickly, but I go through this in depth in my Abbasid dynasty guide um, on my YouTube channel. So feel free to go check that video out. It's going to be helpful for learning more about the house of wisdom and how to use it. Okay. So uh, it's going to be kind of hard because there's a lot of these here. Uh, so in age two, uh, if you go up with the culture wing, you can get the preservation of knowledge, reduces the cost of all technologies by minus 30%. In the third age, it, you can create medical centers, keeps it will make keeps healed nearby units for plus two health every one second. And in the fourth age, you can research faith. Imams can convert units without holding a relic, but can only target a single unit. So that's kind of similar to know about Age of Arms 2 with monks. You can get this and your, your imams can convert units. Pretty fun. Now note, uh, with the Abbasid Dynasty, you can you can get all of the wings over time. So if you skip one early on, you can tr get that later. So don't stress out too much about that, but you will want to have a plan on which ones you want to get to match your strategy. And then these are available as you advance with the age. Okay, the economic wing, definitely the first one you should age up with. It allows you to get fresh foodstuffs, reduces the cost of villagers by 50%. That is huge, getting that early on in the game. It costs 50 food and 125 coin. Keep that in mind as you age up. If you're going to be throwing down that second town center, as many people do, you probably want to get this 125 gold so you can get fresh foodstuffs for cheaper villagers. You can get agriculture, which is going to improve villager gathering rates for farms by 15% and then improve processing. Villagers drop off 8% more resources. The military wing, you can get your camel support. Camels increase the armor of nearby infantry. So make sure you've got some infantry mixed with your camels. What I like to do is use a largely infantry army and sprinkle in a few camels to buff them. Uh, I prefer that over massing camels, as some people do, but I, I, I think we'll see so many different things as the meta evolves. H3, grant camel riders shields, improving their melee armor by plus three. So it really beefs up your camels. And then in the fourth age, increase the health of all infantry by plus 15%. So this is really great if you get uh, you know a lot of spears and archers, with a few camels mixed in there. This is going to be some night tech to support that army. 
Your trade wing uh, is going to be used for spice rows. Increase the gold income from traders by plus 30. Armor to caravans grants plus five armor to traders and trade ships. Then in the fourth age, the Grand Bazaar. Traders return with a secondary resource, which you can select at the market. So you can choose whether that's stone, wood, food, gold. This resource is 25% the base value of the gold that's bringing you back. Okay, so if you're bringing back 100 gold, you're gonna get back 25 of whatever resource you have selected at the market. Um, in the third age, you can get camel handling, increase the movement speed of camel units by plus 15%. Then camel barding, increase the armor of camel units by plus 2%. So you can have a lot of camel upgrades if you over time. Uh, you can also get the, this is uh, available, well, hold on a second, that's, that's the trade wing. I think, I'm trying to remember. I think these are just always available. I don't think these are specific to the different wings. It's kind of weird how they are on this tech tree. So these, I believe, are always available as you get to the age. So in age two, you've always got access to the phalanx, which will increase the attack range of the spearmen by plus 100%. Age three, the camel handling, the end of the camel barding. And then the composite bows reduce the reload time of archers by 25%. So these are not specific to any of the specific wings. Kind of confusing. Okay, your town center, that's the same. Market's the same. Blacksmith, these are all the same techs as all the other civilizations. Battering ram and your siege tower, which you can build right out of the gate. Don't need an extra research with your infantry. Taking a look at the archer range, this is where you're going to be able to train the camel archer, a unique unit. Um, now, it is rather expensive. 180 food and 60 wood. Highly effective against uh, all cavalry and bonus damage for spearmen. I find them to be better against spearmen than they are against cavalry because typically your cavalry are going to get on top of you. You're not going to be doing very great in that situation if you don't have something in between you and them, but really good for raiding, running around, and if you can get a mass of them, it can be really, really effective. You can upgrade those with ages. You've got your archers, your crossbows, and your hand cannoneers. Your stable um, in the second age, you do, or I'm sorry, in the third age, you have access to the lancer and the camel rider in addition to your veteran horseman. Now, the Lancer is just your typical knight kind of unit, uh, uh, a armored, uh, heavy, heavily armored, expensive Lancer unit. And then the unique unit is the Camel Rider. Now, this will stack with all those techs if you're, if you're getting all those upgrades for your camels. Highly mobile and durable melee unit effective against all cavalry. Bonus damage to cav causes enemy damage Cav damage to deal less damage. So this is a great thing to mix in with your army to stop maybe charging knights. Uh, maybe they've made a bunch of early horsemen. These camel riders are going to be extremely effective. Um, I think the camel riders do a better job countering the cav than the camel archers do. You got your stone walls, your stone tower, uh, and uh, at the keep, same, just generic upgrades, nothing special. Okay, your mosque, you get the imam, which is going to be used to pick up your relics, going out and taking religious sites uh, or converting units if you get that tech later on. And these are the same as all the other civilizations. Siege Workshop. You got your Spring Gold, Mangonel, Counterweight, Trebuchet, the standard stuff, Bombard, Culverin. Okay, so nothing special there. Same thing that all the other civilizations have. At your university, they have the exact same techs as all the other civs um, because your unique techs are going to be coming at the uh, House of Wisdom. And uh, last but la not least, we have the prayer hall for your wonder. 3,000, 3,000, 3,000, and 3,000. 10 minutes and you win the game. Okay, guys, that is the entire tech tree for the Abbasid Dynasty. As I mentioned, if you wanted to see some of these other things, go back and check out that English video where I go through the town center with the villager to scout every single one of these techs. Um, and you can find that on my YouTube channel. I also made an Abbasid Dynasty civilization guide uh, that you can also find in my uh, my strategy guys on the channel. So feel free to check that out, or you can go check out one of my my games where I'm playing the Bastard Dynasty or casting the Civilization on my YouTube channel. As always, please comment. Let me know you think about the Civilization, and if there's anything that you think is important to know about the Civilization that is not reflected in the tech tree, let me know about that in the comments below. Um, and as always, please subscribe for uh, more Age of Empires 4 content. And I hope to see you guys in our next Age of Empires 4 video. Good luck out there.